Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the ellipse whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1, where a and b are the parameters related by the equation a power n plus b power n equal to c power n. Now, as first part, I am going to find the value of b power n, which is c power n minus a power n. Now, b will be c power n minus a power n whole power 1 by n. When I replace this in the ellipse equation, it is x square by a square plus y square by b square, which is c power n minus a power n whole power 2 by n, which is equal to 1. Let us keep this as our first equation. I am going to differentiate this first equation with respect to a. Now x square is a constant. This is if taken to the numerator it is x square into a power minus 2. When you differentiate minus 2 a power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Similarly y square is a constant. When this is in the numerator that is when it is like y square into c power n minus a power n power minus 2 by n. When you differentiate, it is minus 2 by m into c power n minus a power n whole power minus 2 by n minus 1 into by chain rule this differentiation is minus n a power n minus 1. This is in a product and the other side the differentiation of 1 is 0. Now we can cancel this n and n, this minus sign and minus sign. Now we are going to rearrange these terms. This is minus 2x square by a cube plus 2y square into c power n minus a power n whole power minus 2 by n into again c power n minus a power n whole power minus 1 and a power n minus 1 can be written as a power n by a which is equal to 0. So here we can cancel this a and the, actually we can cancel the next term because I need to carry this term to the other side. So minus 2x square by a cube equal to minus 2y square into c power n minus a power n whole power minus 2 by n and actually we can bring this term to the denominator so that it is easier in the next step. So this negative power we shall bring it to the c power n minus a power n power 2 by n. And again, this also, we have only a power n and this a is there, but c power n minus a power n can be taken to the denominator. Now, both the sides, we can cancel minus 2 and even this we can cancel, this become a square. So, now we are going to rewrite this, x square by a square. Even this a power n by cross multiplication we can bring it here and now y square by c power n minus a power n whole power 2 by n then c power n minus a power n. Now we are going to use the ratio property in such a way if I get these terms this can be replaced as 1. So we need x square by a square. So the first term is rewritten as x square by a square and this a power n we shall write it here. In the same way this is y square by c power n minus a power n whole power 2 by n whole division c power n minus a power n. After this we are going to use the ratio problem where we can add the numerators separately. So x square by a square plus y square by c power n minus a power n 
whole power 2 by m. And add the denominators, it is a power n plus c power n minus a power n. So we can cancel this and this numerator can be replaced with 1 from the first equation. So after replacing, we are going to get x square by, this can be again rewritten as a square into a power n. This is y square by c power n minus a power n whole power. We can combine this as 2 by n plus 1 because totally the power, this power is 1. This is a product and we can add the powers. Now this is equal to 1 by c power m. Now we shall take this also as a combined one. So x square by this is a power n plus 2. Here y square by c power n minus a power n whole power. When I take LCM it is n plus 2 by n which is equal to c power n. Now taking the first and the last term we have x square by a power n plus 2 equal to 1 by c power n. Now by cross multiplication a power n plus 2 equal to x square c power n and a will be x square c power n whole power 1 by n plus 2. In the same way by equating these two by cross multiplication we get c power n minus a power n whole power n plus 2 by n equal to y square c power n and c power n minus a power n which is equal to y square c power n whole power which will go as a reciprocal power. So n by n plus 2. Now if I substitute this in the first equation x square by a square plus y square by this whole term. So from 1. Now from 1 x square by a square. So x square by a square means square of this. So x square c power n whole power 2 by n plus 2 plus y square by c power n minus a power n whole power 2 by n. We got c power n minus a power n which is y square c power n whole power n by n plus 2. And for this we have power 2 by n. So we have to take power 2 by n. So these two gets cancelled. But again this is equal to 1 here. Now I have to take this power to individual terms. So x square by x square whole power 2 by n plus 2 into c power 2n by n plus 2 plus y square by y square whole power the remaining is 2 by n plus 2 c power 2n by n plus 2 equal to 1. Now this 1 by c power 2n by n plus 2 can be taken common and we have x square in the numerator. This is 4 by n plus 2. When we take to the numerator minus 4 by n plus 2 plus y square again minus 4 by n plus 2 equal to 1. Now this term 2 minus 4 by n plus 2 by taking LCM. LCM is n plus 2. So this is 2n plus 4 minus 4. We left with 2n by n plus 2. And this c term can be taken to the other side. So finally x power 
2n by n plus 2 plus y power 2n by n plus 2 equal to c power 2n by n plus 2. This is the equation of envelope.